What is up fellow game developers, my name is Tyler Putz and welcome back to another video on the 2D platformer series. In this video we will be creating destructible tile blocks, as you can see over on the left, right, I don't know which way around the screen is, as you can see over here that the blocks as you shoot them they get destroyed and this is using the Unity 2D, uh, UD, Unity tile map system so these end like extra blocks added in these are blocks that in the tile map will go destroy as we hit them um so without further ado let's get started okay guys we're now in unity and we're going to get straight into it so in our tile palette you may notice that we also have some um extra tiles these like gray stone looking blocks now we're just going to use this as temporary breakable objects in our game and we're going to set up a wall on the right side of the game before you can pro progress you'll have to break through the wall so if we go over into our grid and right click and click to create a new 2d object tile map we can rename this to destructible destructible and then what we can do is on the right add a tile map collider 2d so there we go we don't want to give it its own layer we're going to give it its layer of destructible and then we're going to apply the destructible I'm going to give it a tag also of destructible although we won't need it straight away this is just in case we need it in the future so we've got destructible so destructible so now we've got everything set for our destructible worlds let's paint in our destructible blocks i'm going to click on something as simple as these three right here or even just this stone pillar i'm just going to apply that there i'm going to build it up a little and then i'm going to add its top on there we go so we've got this giant tall wall that's like blocking our way through so now oh we actually need to set up um the jumping on blocks so if you want these blocks to be jumpable apparently they already are jumpable <laughs> um but you need to go into your player anyway go down to the mixed and select destructible it looks like it's automatically selected that for me but you'd also need to select that if you want to be able to jump on them for our case we don't want to be able to jump on them we just want them to be objects that are in the way that we need to destroy to get through. So I'm just going to go and test again to make sure we can't jump on them now. Dodging the cache because you know. So there you go. Now we can't jump over this wall. There's no way we can get over this wall. The only way through it is by shooting it. Um, but as you can see, it's not breaking yet. So all we need to do is click on destructible wall. We need to go add. And then we need to give a destruct destructible tiles. Uh, script okay now we have our destructible tile script what we want to do is get a public well we want to say unity using we want to use the namespace called tile maps we then want to go in here and say public tile map I'm just going to call it destructible tile map destruct I keep spelling destructible wrong destructible tile map there we go and then we're going to get a start function and we're just going to say destructible tile map is equal to get component tile map, which will just get the tile map of this current destructible tiles. We then want to write a on, no, not an animator, please, an on collision enter 2D. And we're going to just check if the collision dot game object dot compare tag is equal to bullet so if we've shot at it we will then basically destroy it now we need a factor free called hit position because we need to know where our bullet hit and we're going to say factor free dot zero i'm then going to say for each contact point 2d hit in collision dot contacts we're then going to basically loop through so what this contact point is is when you collide with something you get the position of where you hit it um, and obviously we're going to hit this is going to return the point of where we hit we're going to use this to basically say we've just hit this block now we want to um, so now we've hit the block we want to basically uh, destroy it so we're just going to get hit position dot x and we're going to say equal to hit dot point dot x 
minus a really small float, so 0.001f, because the hip, obviously the hip position is only going to be, um, it's only going to be the outside of the thing we hit. It's not going to be directly inside what we hit, so it's going to be on the wrong tile if we don't do it correctly. So what we want to do is we want to times this by hit dot normal dot x um, and here you go you see surface normal at the contact point so the surface um, and then we want to do the same for y so we're going to set hit position dot y is equal to hit dot point dot y minus 0 0.01 f times hit dot normal dot y so this is just going to give us the position of where we hit off basically give us the actual tile we hit. So now what we want to do is say tile or destructible tile map dot set tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the tile we hit to null, which means there'll be nothing there. So we're going to say tile or sorry, tile map, destructible tile map dot world to cell. And then we're going to give it the position, which is our hit position. And then we're going to basically set it to null. So let's go back through. So destructible tile map. We're going to set the tile off the destructible tile map. And then we're going to get a world to cell, which basically is like how camera to screen to world works and vice versa works. We're just going to get hit position and then set to null. So if we now hit save and we go back to Unity, we're going to hit play. Now, hopefully, when we go over to our wall, we'll be able to destroy these blocks that are in our way. Let's go up here and bam. There we go. We just destroy the blocks and then obviously you've got to destroy that block. There we go. So now we can walk straight through this block we've just destroyed, which is great. And then we can destroy just see how many blocks we could destroy, to be honest. But there we go. So that is it for this video. It's a short video on just destroying um, uh, the blocks in Unity. It's kind of cool because I never knew this was possible until the other day. Um, I thought you had to set these in manually. It's like like just dropping in a, a, a game object into here, which you then add a destructible tile to. But now I've learned how you use the set tile map. It makes it a lot easier. So not only can you set tiles, if you get reference to specific tiles, you can actually place them. So if you want to build like a builder game, you could do it where you're running around, you have your cursor, and where you click, you place blocks. Maybe we'll do that in the next video. Oh, that will be a good idea. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that, hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, share with all your friends, comment below, and peace out. Keep muddy.